hello guys welcome back to my channel today in this video guide i will show you how to fix terminal brigade crashing or not launching or stuck on loading screen error on pc so let's go through it so the first solution is to restart your pc for that click on windows icon over here then click on power and then click on restart this will restart your system after your system restarts now launch the game and check if you can play it if not the second solution is to verify integrity of game files for that go to steam go to the library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files once the game files has been verified now try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you if not the next solution is to modify launch options for that again go to steam under library section Select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Now under general in the launch option type minus DX11 and then check if this solution works or else type minus DX12 and then try to launch the game and check if it works for you now. The next solution is to update graphics card. For that simply go to the search option over here. Search for device manager. Now go below expand display adapters select the graphics card right click on it and then click on update driver option and after that click on search automatically for drivers this will search for the best drivers for your pc and then launch the game and check if this solution has resolved the error next is to run game as administrator for that go to steam in under library section select the game right click on it click on properties now click on install files now from here click on browse this will take you to the page where the game has been installed so here you will get two folders simply click on here rogue and then right click on it select properties under compatibility click on run this program as an administrator and then click on apply and ok if not then click on run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select windows 8 and then click on apply and ok or else also you can click on disable full screen optimization and then click on apply and ok after that try to launch the game if not then you can go back and right click on rs launcher click on properties and then click on compatibility and here select run this program as an administrator display disable full screen optimization and run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then click on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and check if the solution works for you if not the next method is to update windows for that go to the search option over here click on check for updates now you should check if there is an update available by clicking on check for updates option if any update is available simply click on it and after updating windows now try to launch the game and check if the issue is resolved the next solution is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the search option over here click on windows defender firewall then click on allow an app or feature after that click on change settings now here look for the app if it is listed here so go below here you can find the game if not you need to click on allow another app go to the browse option over here and then go to your game folder where it has been installed common then here you need to add this see it has been added again go here click on browse then go back launcher select it and add it over here so it has already been added so it has already been added so simply click on it make sure both public and private boxes are clicked and here also on that has been added previously simply select it and then click on apply and click on ok and then try to launch the game and check if this solution works 
Next is to close unnecessary background task. For that, simply click on here, click on task manager, and after that, go to the resource uh, processes tab. Here, you should find which app is consuming high resources or of no use. Simply select the app and then click on end task option. This will close the app. Close the app, and after that, try to launch the game and check if it works. If not, the next solution suggested is to disable in-game overlays. For that, go to the Steam under Library section, select your game, right-click on it, click on Properties, and then under General, you can see the Enable the Steam Overlay while in game option. Simply disable it, and then try to launch the game and check if this works. So the same process you need to do for GeForce experience simply open it tap on the gear icon beside username click on the general and then switch off in-game overlay option for discord overlay go to the user settings game overlay tab switch off enable in-game overlay option the next is to install visual c++ files for that i have provided the link in the description just go through it and download and install the latest visual c++ files for your pc the next solution is to disable third party overlay application if there is any third party overlay application enabled like Nvidia, Shadow Play or MSI Afterburner then you should disable it. Just go through it, disable it and then try to launch the game and check if the issue is resolved. The next solution is to run the game as a dedicated graphics card. For that simply go to the search option over here, search for graphics settings. Now here you need to add the game. So if it's not added simply click over here added add desktop app and from here you can easily add so i have already added both of them so simply click on here under gpu preference select high performance and then try to launch the game also here you can check gpu preference here also simply click on high performance and then try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you if not the final solution suggested is to reinstall terminal brigade game for that go to steam under library select the game right click on it click on manage and then click on uninstall option and then finally click on uninstall so this will uninstall the game from your system once it is uninstalled restart your pc once and after that again reinstall the game and try to launch it hopefully now you can easily play the game without any further issue so all these are some of the solutions suggested to fix terminal brigade game not launching or crashing or showing other errors on PC. So that's all for now. Thank you.